Hello everyone, this is Deepak Priya from CEC department. In this lecture, we will be seeing about how to implement stack using array. So, uh, stack works with the principle of first in last out. Here you can see that this is how a stack will be, and whatever the things you are pushing in will be uh, inserted in this way. And if you want to delete an item, whichever element has been inserted last will be deleted first. So, this will be either called as last in first out or first in last out. So in this we will be having certain operation like push, pop, peek and display. So we will be uh, see, we will see about those operations. The first operation is push operation. Push is nothing but an insertion operation. So uh, for insertion, at the beginning the stack will be empty. And the stop is a point which is used to point to the uh, last or least, uh, least recently uh, inserted element. So this stop will be minus 1 at the initializing phase. So, uh, it, this is a routine for push operation. In that, first you are indicating what the value to be inserted, and if stop equal to equal to n, n is nothing but the uh, size of the array. So, if it is matches to the top, means it means the stack is overflow. Overflow in full stack is full, you cannot insert new elements uh, uh, after. So, if it is stop is equal to n, it is overflow, else what you are going to do is you are going to increment top value by 1. So, here you will be having the index value. A is at index 0, B is at 1, C is at 3, and D is at 4. So now top will be implemented by 1. That is, index 4 will be uh, top to the index 4. Now implemented will go to index 5. So now top points to index 5. In that place, you will be inserting stack of top. The name of the array is stack, but top is a point which is pointing to. So at the stack of top, you are going to insert the new band. So this is how insertion happens. The next one is pop operation. Pop is nothing but deletion operation. So if top equal to minus uh, beginning, we saw that if our initializing phase, top will be minus one. So if it means the stack is empty, if stack is empty, we will be calling it as underflow. So if top equal to minus one, it is underflow. Else, if uh, it is not underflow, we can delete an element from the stack. So how we are going to delete it? Whatever the element is at the top will be deleted first. So whichever element is pointed by top, that is, uh, now we are going to get it as the item equal to stack of top. To know which element has been deleted, you are going to store the element in the variable called item. So, now, once you got to uh, read the item, then you are going to do is top minus minus. So, now, the top will be decremented to the previous index. So, now top is at a is at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, top is at 4 now. One year once you are decrementing, it goes to C. So now, top points to D. It means that E has been deleted. So this is how pop operation works. The next one is peak operation. Uh, peak operation works like uh, peak displays the first element of the stack. So whatever the element present to the top will be displayed when you are going with the peak operation. So if top equal to minus 1, now previously we saw this uh, Condition. If top is at minus 1 means stack is empty, that is underflow. Else what you are going to do is, you are going to return stack of top. That is what, whenever the top point to is the first element, the peak operation displays the first element of the stack. The next one is display. A display also works with the condition like if top is minus 1, it means the stack is empty, so you cannot display any element. If it is not the case, you will be going with the else part. Else part, your index starts with the top element. From the first element, you are going to start. Until i is greater than i equal to 0, then the 0 is index you are going to follow, then they are going to be in decrement. So here top will start 4, then it will be decremented to 3, at 4 means 40 will be read, then index will be decremented to 30, uh, 30 will be read, then the index will be reduced again, and then 20 will be read, and finally 10 will be read. So this is how the display works. So once for each iteration, you are going to uh, keep on uh, displaying the element that is present. So this is a function or uh, operation done in 